hello, I'm Retro Jules, and welcome back to Cross Out. And my first Cross Out video has done okay, actually. I'm really pleased. Um, it's had some good viewings, I've had some nice feedback, and I haven't had any World of Tankers come back to me and say, Retro, what are you doing playing another game? It would seem that a lot of tankers are actually playing Cross Out. And the more I play it, I'm really, really getting into it. Once you get used to the fact that the gameplay is a little bit fast and furious, um, yeah, there's there's a lot to do in this game. And, you know, the game is throwing me backwards and forwards. I have to go and get copper. And then I realise that I haven't got all the parts I need to build something. So then I have to go in and battle against people to earn. And, and you're constantly to and froing. And now that I've finally opened up a different faction, the Scavengers, there's a whole new route to go down to get parts and exciting materials and what have you. And thank you very much to Alex Young and Samuel Fujat, or Fujat, I hope I said that correctly, apologies if I haven't. And they said that you've got to choose your faction pretty quickly because it works in conjunction with your engineers you even though you start from scratch on your new faction your engineers still keep increasing their reputation so with my engineers being at 14 had i chosen my scavengers when i started playing they would have also been at level 14 and i would have had some awesome vehicles and parts as it happens I've had to start again really with scavengers and now they're just starting to get reputations whereas engineers are right up there in 14. So thank you for clarifying that. And a big thank you to Robert Marshall who sent me a little message saying, Retro, have you bought the free Snappy Pack on Xbox Shop? And it's a free buggy for the Lunatics faction. Incredibly fast, great fun to play and really handy for parts too. So I've got that. So I'm gonna show you today why and how I built my retro van. And just before I do, just a couple of things I've picked up on the screens just lately, which I thought I'd show you, just in case you haven't realized, is that the battle button has now got this sort of electric icon and it's got the arrows, it's, it's highlighted. And the reason for that is I've pressed the wrong button, there we go, is that there are some bonuses live in battle. So at the moment, you get 400% additional reputation until the daily limit is reached, which I'm guessing according to this is 60,000. And there's an event bonus of 50% additional reputation. So that's worth having. Also up here on the top right, you've got the exclamation mark that's the daily challenges there's five of them and I have a question for you which is you earn 200 hexagons nuts what are those are is that reputation I don't know what that 200 um, symbol is for so please do let me know and so you can turn that on and off to see what's going on there and also if you actually click on your icon there's a whole host of, you can you can change your gamer picture, you can have a look at your medals, stickers, and history, what you've done, and how you've done it, and there's just a whole, there's a whole load of stats and things that you might find really, really interesting there. So, yeah, I'm really getting, getting into this game. I love the way that this game is throwing you around to do different missions to you know it really does force you to play the game differently to go into different tabs to do things and also I have just built and I'm going to retrieve it now the rapier which is going to be the next thing that I'm probably going to mount on my retro van and you can see look you know if you build these parts and you put them on the market that is worth 168 coins it's worth a lot more than the sum of its parts and it just goes back to showing you when I said you know if you're gonna put stuff on the market and you want to make money build stuff for people because they will buy it and it's worth money 
And the only mistake I really made in the last video was I referred to coins as gold. I kind of see them as gold coins and being a tanker, I refer to it as gold, but they are actually called coins. So let's move on and I will talk you through the building of the retro van and talk you through it. So this is my retro van. Now originally I was going to show you me actually building this vehicle and I got halfway through the video and the game lost signal and it wouldn't go back in and I was get, getting messaged by a load of people which kind of ruined the video a little bit and it's actually quite a difficult thing to do and I was going to sort of fast forward it and show you me building this um, but I've changed my mind and I'm going to do it a different way however if you want to actually see me do a build then do let me know I just don't know if that's a little bit boring and makes the video a little bit too long so this is the retro van my plumbers Ford Transit and if we start from the bottom and work up I've gone for six wheels very simply because if you've got six wheels you can afford to lose a lot of them. For argument's sake if we lose that wheel and that wheel and that wheel it's still very very manoeuvrable. If you can keep three wheels on this, two on one side and one on the other, you can still move around the map. So if you get to that stage where you've lost all your machine guns, you've lost a few wheels, but you can still move, hopefully you're going to be able to run and cap. So that's why I've given it multiple wheels. The front wheel steer, the rear wheels steer, which makes it quite a manoeuvrable vehicle. It's not fast, it's heavy, a little bit top heavy, so you have to watch the corners at speed and I haven't got a car jack in this I wanted to keep the energy usage down so that I could actually mount four machine guns now inside I have got my weapons cooler and I have got a petrol drum and that is it the weapons cooler increases my machine guns cooling down rate by a hundred percent and that is working really really well if you can get to that magic point where the machine guns are cooling down at different periods not all together you can practically shoot continually with this fan which is great so obviously we've got the Ford Transit cabin and then I've just tried to sort of build it up to make it look like a van I quite like my vehicles to look decent and what I've tried to do with this is layer up on the armor so we've got the van sides just here and then we've got some other pieces strapped on the front with the wheel arches I've placed them back to back to give me a double thickness because with this cabin and at the stage of the game I'm at at level 14 I can make this vehicle out of 55 parts and actually I almost ran out of ideas towards the end to fit all the parts so that's the wheel arches doubled up then at the back I double up on the van back so I've got two van rears there which gives me a double thickness to shoot on I've also then put a canvas roof on the back which gives a triple thickness to shoot through and a couple of bumpers on the back too I have just tried to put things in the way for people to shoot at that makes the vehicle last longer on the battlefield and it seems to be working I've also got a strobe light on the back and I've also got a searchlight on the top which I've recently earned and they both increase my reputation by 1% each now I thought they were going to light up in the game and they don't so I was a little bit gutted about that I thought I was going to be going out with a nice searchlight and some sort of brake light or blue neon light at the back but no they, they don't do anything so nothing happens with those I have done this as a blueprint for you and it's called retro van capital R capital V but I've removed these lights for that blueprint 
just in case you haven't got those and I thought and then the vehicle is actually composed of normal vehicle parts plus the parts from that free snappy package as well. So moving on to the front, I've again tried to layer up here. I've tried to protect the front wheels because I don't really want to lose steering wheels if I can help it. And I've gone for pretty much three layers. Can I can I move up? No, I can't. Okay, so we're, we're, we're there. So we've got that back layer, another layer in front, and a bit of protection for ramming there too. I did have the sort of swords or the blades, I can't remember what they're called, on the front. But really, this vehicle isn't that fast, and ramming isn't my style at the moment. I like to shoot from a distance. And that brings me on nicely to the machine guns on the top. And I think, actually, what I'll do, I'll go into build which will allow me to zoom in a little bit. But there we go, that's better. Should have done that in the first place. So I've placed the machine guns all at different heights. Originally, I didn't have that back piece on. I didn't have that piece on there. I had the two machine guns down on the top of this tarpaulin canvas roof. And the trouble is, is they all blocked each other's line of sight. It didn't work at all well. So I've mounted them in this fashion. The front two are never a problem. This one is slightly higher and then this one is slightly higher again. And if you look from the front, they've all got different lines of sight from the front and that works really, really well. What worked better is when I had some right angled struts at the side of the cabin, either side, and I had a machine gun on each so when you looked at it, you had two machine guns on the roof of the cabin and two machine guns either side, all at the same height. And that gave me a really big field of vision to shoot from and they didn't block each other. Trouble with that was, was those side struts would get shot off very quickly, very easily. And of course, your machine gun was sat on top of that and you lost that too. So I try and get as many of the machine guns onto the main cabin, which I can only really get two, and I've tried to layer up here. So if that gets shot out, then I'm gonna lose that machine gun. And then I've got two sort of side pieces on here that get shot out first before that grill bit gets shot out before I then lose that machine gun. And then from the rear, a little bit of protection just in case I'm running away or I've got my back to the enemy there's just a couple of layers to shoot through to before I lose my machine guns so that's that's my retro van that's how I've built it that's my thinking behind that by all means look up retro van on blueprints and download it have a play see what you think i'd love to know what you think and maybe you'll come back to me and say actually retro i would have done this this and this to make it better but on the test drive got to roll it out and show you the machine guns oh see it's a little bit twitchy with two lots of steering wheels just going to turn the volume down in my earpiece but actually shooting it's just got this see I've got the I've got the managed to get the guns out of sequence now so when two are cooling two are building up and it's giving me that absolutely non-stop relentless machine gun action I am constantly shooting and I'd like to think if you're the enemy you don't want to be on the end of that it's just great so that made short work of my own van and you can see I think it's pretty quick absolutely almost turns within itself you can do donuts with this which is great and it's quite well balanced as well so if we hit oh let's hit the big ramp and see what happens and see if this thing nose dives or how it lands but actually Look at that. That is perfect. If anything, it's slightly back heavy, which really, really helps. So, I didn't want to lose a machine gun for a carjack, and I don't think I need to. 
And then we just need to see how the weight versus grip is going to be. So we'll take it up the steepest slope. And absolutely no problem mounting that whatsoever. So, oopsie daisy. Didn't mean to flip it. Oh, rolling, rolling, rolling. Rolling, rolling. Come on, get to the bottom of the hill. So, yeah, this, this would be the situation you probably wouldn't want to get in, but it's amazing, actually, that you can still shoot quite well in front of you, should this unfortunate episode happen. And it's only really going to happen if, like me, you drive like an idiot and drive off something that is blatantly going to flip the vehicle. Otherwise, you've seen how well balanced it is. And there we go. And we're back up. So, retro van, build, done. Hope you enjoyed the video. Keep safe. Keep building. And I'll see you soon.